Welcome to Juan Merrill Campo School of the Arts, a District 14 secondary school serving grades 6 through 12. I'm Jason Rosenbaum, one of our two assistant principals, and I welcome you to this virtual tour of our school. We know that the decision you face in choosing a high school is made all the more difficult by not being able to visit each of the schools you're considering. So we've put together this video tour of our building. And along the way, we'll tell you about the special programs we offer, and hopefully you'll get a feeling for what to expect from being a Campo student. First, where are we? We are in Williamsburg's north side, near the G train, J and M trains, and the B46 bus. You'll find us listed at 215 Hayward Street, but our main entrance is actually around the block on Rutledge Street. As we enter the building, we're welcomed by our safety agents, who we're glad to say are part of the welcoming and warm environment of campus. They know our students' names, and are, they greet our students each morning as they come in the building. When we come in the main entrance, we could head down the hall to the main office, where we see our pupil accounting secretary, Ms. Adamo, and parent coordinator, Ms. Pena. Hi, Ms. Pena. Hey! As we come up the stairs to the third floor, where all of our academic classrooms are, you enter into this big central hallway. This is the hallway that divides the high school over here on this side from the middle school, which is over on the other side. We'll drop down to the first floor for a moment to take a look at the cafeteria, where we have these nice smaller round tables, which allow students to gather in small groups rather than the big long tables that cafeterias usually have. It's a good size space uh, where we have separate middle school lunch from high school lunch. Back up on the second floor, we'll take a look at the library, which has a group of computers as well as the books for resources for to support classrooms as well as for students to use during lunch or after school. The librarian has a lot of activities that go on here. Also, the district office, which is in our building, uses it for district meetings as well. We'll walk down to the other end of the second floor to see some of our arts classrooms. Here you see our studio theater, um, which holds all of our theater classes, also hosts some of the smaller performance pieces produced during the school year. We have a robust theater program that focuses on two productions a year uh, in the studio theater in the fall and on the main stage for a musical in the spring. Also, we have various theater partnerships that give students a strong introduction and exposure to professional theater. Our classes go beyond acting and performance to include directing, design, and technical theater production. Now we'll head back into the hallway down to the entrance of our main auditorium. Here's the view from the tech booth and a walk down through the, through the auditorium. This is also the space that perhaps in four years, if you join us, you will have the pleasure of walking across the stage and receiving your diploma from Principal Shally Ogley. In the meantime, you will have the opportunity to perform here in the theater program, dance program, or band, or see concerts from your friends in any of those programs. Here's a few pictures from the theater in some more lively days. It's a studio theater cast. These are students performing one of our awards shows. And here are some Broadway shows that we've gone to see over the years. We'll see maybe half a dozen different Broadway shows in the course of a year, and sometimes to other smaller theaters as well. Like all of our arts programs, our studio art classes are more than learning painting and drawing techniques. It's about developing a student voice and a student's sense of agency over their world. So a lot of our curriculum is about developing and expressing their voice and their opinions and their experiences of the world around them. It's a very important thing that uh, infects so much of what we do at campus is wanting to know what students think and wanting them to understand and believe that their views are important and that they could impact the world around them. Art is a powerful way to do that and we want all students to discover the artist in themselves. Our instrumental band program is supported by an organization called Little Kids Rock. They're a fantastic group that supports uh, music programs across the city. They provide us with instruments and a lot of training programs for our music teacher and different experience performance opportunities for students. Little Kids Rock supports 
a kind of school music program called Modern Band. It teaches kids to perform, improvise, and compose using popular styles that they know and love, including rock, pop music, reggae, hip-hop, R&B, and other styles. Modern Band features guitar, bass, keyboard, drums, and other percussion, and we've been expanding our curriculum to include digital music production. Students love to perform when they're learning new instruments, so we give them as many opportunities as we can. The band collaborates with the dance and theater department on the annual musical production, but we also do a lot of little mini concerts just in the hallway. On a Friday during dismissal, the band will be playing in the hallway for a bunch of songs for the whole community to hear. Uh, there'll also be special performances. We'll do a holiday concert. This last picture you're looking at is our band performing at the Javits Center when they were invited by Little Kids Rock to perform at their annual gala benefit. Let me tell you a little about our dance program. As you see here, we have a beautiful new dance studio. It has special flooring for dance, fully mirrored walls with ballet bars, and an amazing sound system. Our dance program is a celebration of movement as a form of expression. Students learn to express themselves and develop their own voice. They explore how dance is a form of cultural expression too, through traditions like hip hop, West African dance, dance hall, Afrobeats, salsa, and bachata. We have two full classrooms of new Mac computers to support our digital arts program, plus another lab of PCs. We also have many roving tech carts that teachers bring into classrooms to help with the tech integration of all subjects. In our digital arts classes, students become proficient in a wide range of software applications used in two-dimensional and 3D design. In Photoshop, they learn how to manipulate color, opacity, lettering, images, and patterns. Like you've heard me describe in our other arts programs, we craft curriculum here too that fosters student thinking about identity and development of their personal voice. Students learn the basics of digital drawing and drafting and take those into environments like Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Those skills become part of a project in creating a personal logo as if they were to present themselves as a brand through digital media. They apply those ideas of branding to other media-based projects like creating marketing materials for music albums or films. Other classes in digital arts explore coding, game design, 3D rendering, and 3D printing. Let's take a look downstairs at our gymnasium, uh, tell you a little bit about our sports programs, uh, girls and boys basketball. We have softball for girls, baseball for boys, and co-ed handball team. We also have a weight room that's used by our sports teams, phys ed classes, and also sometimes students work out during lunch or have an after-school club. We'll walk back up to the third floor and take a look at some classrooms. Uh, you see that we have classrooms of different, some different types of desks, but they're all designed to lend themselves to different kinds of configurations and different kinds of groupings so that teachers can tailor them to that day's lesson. Here you see one of our three brand new science labs built just last year. I'd like you to notice how the support systems for our students are easily and readily available throughout the school day. We want our students to feel nurtured and embraced by that support. Here you see how our school-based support team is right in the middle of that central hallway. And here the office suite with our two high school counselors is in the middle of one of the high school halls. And in the middle of the other high school hallway is our college counselor who works with us through an incredible organization called College Bound Initiative. Our college counselor begins working with students in the ninth grade, including a visit to a college campus, and as students progress through the years, they go on more and more college visits and learn all about the whole college process. By the time they start their senior year, they've started building a college portfolio, and they start to see the counselor at least weekly for help with every step of the process. Every one of our students graduates with a plan for college or first steps toward their selected career. We ensure that nearly 100% of our graduates have an offer from at least one college before they graduate, even if they aren't sure if they plan to attend, because we want every student to have the widest possible range of options available to them 
on the day they last walk out our doors. Even our graduates continue to return to our college office for help with financial aid, transfers, or other support they need for their college experience. Last year, our students received over $750,000 in scholarship money toward their college tuitions and expenses. And to complete the tour of our building, I'll show you our courtyard. Students can eat lunch here. Often you'll find some teachers joining them, especially on sunny days when everyone's eager to step outside. And right now we're in the middle of construction of our brand new schoolyard. You can see the design pictures of it here. Uh, the bulldozers are busy at work and we expect it to be open for students and the campus community this spring. It's going to be fabulous. There's a whole athletic practice field, a running track, a stage, basketball courts, uh, and areas for students just to relax and chill and hang out. It's going to be a great thing for our whole school. Well, we've finished the tour of the building. So for the rest of the time, I'll tell you about our academic programs, and we'll finish with a little bit more about the community that makes Campo so special. We have a rigorous college prep curriculum. This is a typical ninth grade course list. All students have an arts class every day. In our middle school, like most of District 14, students take algebra and living environment, so most of our students are ready for geometry and chemistry in ninth grade. We offer both, however, so whatever your experience was in eighth grade, we have classes that will fit your need. I won't read through the rest of this slide, but one part that may need explaining is peer group connection. This is a mentor program for all ninth graders. They meet in small groups of eight to 10 students once a week, and the group is facilitated by two mentors from the junior or senior class. They are trained to be effective mentors for incoming ninth graders and work under the supervision of two teachers who lead PGC. PGC builds all of these skills that you see on the screen needed to be an effective and independent high school student, as well as building relationships with other ninth graders in a way that you just can't achieve with only academic classes. As we look at the typical program for a 10th grader, we see something new here too. STEM Teaching Assistant Scholar. This is a program we helped develop with CUNY eight years ago in which students have completed a course in math or science but want the opportunity to achieve a higher degree of mastery. They repeat the course as a teaching assistant. These students take an extra class on their schedule where they work with other assistants and the teacher to develop student-centered lessons and then the assistants lead small groups of students in delivering that lesson. Not only does the assistant achieve a college-ready level of mastery, but they also develop the leadership and self-advocacy skills that we know are part of college success. It is yet another way in which we aim to develop student voice and empowerment at campus. There are opportunities to be teaching assistants from 10th through 12th grade. As an 11th or 12th grader, students are encouraged to take AP classes, which we offer five of, in U.S. History, English Literature, Spanish Language, Biology, and Research Seminar. There are also science and math electives in financial literacy, forensics, and environmental science. Students aiming for an arts-endorsed diploma may be taking more than one art class, or students may be branching out to try an art form they haven't had an opportunity to try in their previous years. Another special part of campus academics is our ASD NEST program for the inclusion of students on the autistic spectrum in the general education classrooms. We are thrilled to be the newest high school in New York City to launch a NEST program, and we joined 54 other schools, K-12, through across New York City implementing this model. In partnership with New York University and funding from the Department of Education, this program brings resources and professional training to all of our teachers that benefit all students in all classes. As I describe all of these programs, something I hope you'll notice is how we are truly an inclusive learning community. As this graphic shows, diversity isn't enough. It's how those diverse individuals participate in and feel truly part of the community that defines true inclusion. At Campos, everyone belongs, and we see our responsibility as educators to ensure that they do.
Between our ENL program, our ICT program for students with IEPs, and the NEST program, most of our classes are co-taught with two teachers. This keeps our student-to-teacher ratio very low, ensuring that all students get the attention and support they need to be successful. Thank you for joining us for this virtual open house for the high school at Juan Morel Campos School of the Arts. For more information, please see our website.